Okay, we've seen about the additions. Let us also see about subtraction of like and unlike fractions. So let's start with the like fractions. What if you had 7 upon 13 minus 4 upon 13? Okay. Just like in the case of addition, whenever you have a common denominator, the denominator of the result of this subtraction will have the same denominator as these two. Okay. When you were doing the addition, what you did was that the numerator used to be the sum of these two numerators. Whereas, when you find out the difference of two, what you have to do is that the numerator is basically equal to the difference of two numerators and the denominator is the common denominator. Right? So, I have taken the common denominator out here the numerator will be the difference of two numerators so we do 7 minus 4 we know 7 minus 4 is 3 and the denominator remains 13 as it is right so this was insofar as the like fractions were concerned let's see about the unlike one so let's say for example you had 7 upon 13 minus mm, 4 upon 8 okay again as we saw earlier there are two methods of doing this the first method is convert into like fractions right the simplest one so what we do here is we can write this as what's the LCM of these two so LCM of 13 and 8 actually both of them are different there's no common number which divides them hence the LCM is also going to be 13 into 8 only so let's say 13 you would have done 1 8 8 you will take 1 1 so the LCM will be 13 into 8 or 8 3 is a 24 plus 80 one zero four right so if we apply this LCM of one zero four seven upon thirteen can be written as thirteen into eight upon seven into eight or fifty six upon one zero four right similarly 4 upon 8 can be written as 8 into 13 upon 4 into 13 which is 52 upon 104 right and now it becomes easy so you can write this as 56 upon 104 minus 52 upon 104 104 again now these are like fractions and we saw how do we deal with like fractions. The denominator becomes the denominator and we do 56 minus 52. 4 by 104. The second method to do this is again, let's do it in a different color. So what you can do here is 7 upon 13 minus 4 upon 8. In the second method, the denominator is going to be the common denominator which is the LCM so you get 104 here now what gets substituted for 7 is the same way which we calculated earlier so what we do is we take the LCM we divide it by the denominator and multiply it by the numerator so let's say for 7 upon 13 what we will get is 104 divided by 13 into 7. So 13 goes into 104 8 times 8 into 7 will give you 56. Similarly for 4 by 8 what we do is we divide the denominator 104 
by the sorry divide the LCM by the denominator which is 8 and multiply it by the numerator so 104 as it gets divided by 8 will give you 13 13 into 4 is 52 and you get 4 by 104 in some cases you might get questions you know where it could be something like instead of a fraction you might get let's say mixed fraction 6 3 by 7 or 4 2 by 9 minus let's say anything 3 by 4 in these cases basically you should convert this mixed fraction into a proper or improper fraction it's going to be an improper fraction only convert it into a normal fraction which could be proper or improper right normally it's going to be an improper fraction only because 6 so let's say 6 3 by 7 would mean what it will mean 6 plus 3 by 7 right so 6 can also be written as what 6 upon 1 or 6 upon 1 can be written as 42 by 7 how we convert 6 upon 1 into an equivalent fraction with a denominator 7 so we write 7 here so 7 is 1 into 7 so 6 into 7 also you can do so you get 42 upon 7 right replace this in the equation and solve it or the easiest way to deal with such cases is that when you have to convert a mixed fraction into a proper fraction or an improper fraction you just multiply the whole number whole number into denominator right plus the numerator and divided by the denominator so let's say in this case whole number was 6 multiplied by denominator is 7 right plus the numerator divided by the denominator so 6 times 7 is 42 right plus 3 is 45 divided by 7 you must be wondering why is this 42 by 7 because I just converted this and left it right so otherwise I would have done 42 by 7 plus 3 by 7 so this these are like fractions so we keep the common denominator 42 plus 3 is 45 and then you can follow whatever steps you have for the addition or subtraction